who's making the stage with victories over Alan Edwards, fellow Englishman, and uh, Darius Slabonowskis uh, of uh, Lithuania. Jungens has managed to reach this stage with uh, three two win over Wes Harms. An excellent performance that in one of the um, uh, big big shocks, I suppose, uh, one of many quite uh, surprising results in that first round, and uh, also uh, Danny Noppet. There you have it on the screen. Three two three two. It doesn't matter though, Scott. Uh, Mitchell does it world champion whether you win 3 nil or 3 2 you're through and that's all that matters that's all you remember John you don't remember some of the stats but uh, you, you do remember that you're through and uh, you're concentrating on the next game and I must say all the players come here this week and they concentrate on trying to get to this last Sunday in the last day because today is the business day that's right the business end of the three days that we've been televising this event but for many, the business end of a much longer period because, uh, yes, Jungens was one of the qualifiers and uh, they go home with a Humberside accent, don't they? Uh, never mind being able to speak English. They've been here that long. So Jungens with the throw. Best of three legs in each of the sets. Best of five sets. 100. Jamie Hughes in the seed here. You would have him down a slight favourite. But uh, he has lost the up. And Jungens has been going 3-2, 3-2 in his previous games. So that means he's holding his throw nicely. Well, in his last game, of course, he was two sets to nil up. And uh, Noppet came back to 2-2, and in the end, Jungens oh, held on, and it looked as though he might have uh, collapsed. But uh, I suppose that's a testament to his character anyway. Uh, so our first 180 of the match, our first 180 of this day, and Jamie Hughes, who's the four seed, the man who records it. Well... If Jungens didn't know he had a task on his hands already, then he does now. Hughes means business. He's straight in. Yeah, 102 left. He'll probably stay up unless he's blocked. Looks to be staying up. So Jungens, despite throwing first, having it all to do here... Good to see that 180 Hughes knows that he's got every chance of breaking the throw. 100 scored by the Swiss man. So now 17 leaves tops for a nice little 50 data. Well played, Jamie Hughes. That's exactly what you want to do if you've lost the bull up. The first thing you want to do, it's the chance to break. The first leg is the best chance to break. And Jamie Hughes there has stepped right in. He hit that 180 halfway down the leg, it turned the throw, and uh, a nice tidy little finish there. That will settle him down nicely. Now, is he going to return the compliment? 95. 95. And after that first dart, I thought we might get a 140 at least. Ninety-seven. Oh, last dart. Nice. Nice feeling when you come downstairs and hit the target to make your score more than respectable. Well, it will make you actually come down more, John, because uh, of the success, and then you get that confidence of having that success down there. Whereas if you go down there a couple of times, don't hit the treble uh, 19, you will tend to try and stay up there and force the dart into the treble 20. 93. Or switch to treble 18. And more and more players do that nowadays, don't they? Uh, satisfy themselves with 93. I think it was something that I, I remember uh, uh, as a younger man. Uh, Dennis Priestley doing a lot of switching oh, to the 18s more yes, than, well, than downstairs. Yes, uh, uh, you're right. Uh, uh, very, he was really the first exponent to the use of the 18s. 140. And uh, I had the pleasure.
after uh, the referee many of Dennis's games on the exhibition circuit, and he, he used to make me work sometimes with that <laughs> triple eight. That's a nice Williams visit, isn't it? So Hughes looking now for a, a 14 data, possibly. Double 16 will do it for him. Well, another 15 data there, and when you throw in 15 with the throw, you're going to win more than you lose. It makes life very difficult for your opponent, John, if, the, if you can do that. Jamie's sort of flown out the traps here in this uh, quarter-final. Not for the first time coming down, picking up the 97. It doesn't show up in the tons column, but you're quite happy to be three short of the three-figure score. Choosing this time to go round that dart because it's over on one side. So he's, he's now gone back down to where he's had success, and I'm sure that he'll walk away thinking maybe I should have went down there a dart earlier. Well, had he gone down there, uh, 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 guaranteed of hit it, of course, but I know what you mean. One hundred. Thomas here, you see, trying to go round that first dart. 44. And now having to switch down. It, it obviously, with the trajectory of Thomas's dart, wasn't a good dart for him. He tried to go round it, which he took the pace off. And uh, then got a bit of a lateral drift into the five. 58. Finally decided to go down for the treble 19. hitting that treble as regularly as he has been and that means that Hughes has had the relative comfort of not being under any serious pressure when it's come down to the business end of the leg and uh, well Youngans does have a chance here to break through if he can score a ton or something similar maybe 97 but a ton that's a good last start. Leaves him 57. Sorry. Yes, leaves him 57, and Hughes now needs a ton. 85 needed. He'll go down for treble 15. He's missed that. He's going to go treble 18 to leave himself double 8. Thomas, his favourite route. So it's single 17 for Jungens, and you feel this is a must hit double. Which he duly does. Well, he breaks the throw, and that means that uh, he's favourite to win this uh, second set. He's a set down, but his first leg there, uh, that was well done because uh, it was the throw before, wasn't it? He went up to the hockey wanting 157, and the last dart of that visit went into the treble 20. That made it that much easier for him, and he took out the 57 very nicely indeed. 100. I think that's some of the people from the Ladies Darts Association sat there at the front. 180. And this is what winning a leg does for you, John. It settles you down, makes you feel you're part of the game. And Hughes came out of the traps absolutely flying. 60. And, and probably had an iffy leg in, yes. in, 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 uh, by his standards of what we've seen so far. Jungens has uh, taken his chance on 57 and now he's flying. Here we go again. Oh, would have been nice to have seen back to back one back to back 180s, but uh, he's certainly flying now. He's well on course to make it one set all. Just to take out 84. And he can do this in two darts. If he gets the treble 21st dart, watch for double 12. Well, 64. He got treble 16 here. 
Well, that's 56 left. That's that's fair enough, isn't it? You'd settle for that, Scott, wouldn't you? 40 after 12 darts. The other fella back on 281. Well, it's as you said earlier in the last set. If he's going out in 15 darts with the throw, it makes it very difficult to catch. 140. Thomas, you have won 40. It's pressure, but it's 40 for Youngens for the set. chance for Hughes, that 140 has given him this opportunity, but it's got to be perfect, and that isn't. So Jungens will come back for 10 for one set apiece. Now yesterday we saw him go for two, double four, because double four is his favourite shot. He's going double five today, he said he wouldn't ever change his stake. So now he's gone, and probably that's on his mind, John. May well be. I uh, uh, still for fifty. A topsy wants. Yes, that's a leg. Perhaps Scott. I, I honestly believe the fact that he missed the big two yesterday when he went for that uh, ought not to dissuade him. In my opinion, I think he should. Stay Two double four if he likes the double four. 60. He's going to have two darts at it, isn't he? Well, that was a very different situation. He was that far in front, he probably could have gone two double four um, with Jamie back where he was. But, uh, you know, he obviously he, he's Whoa. taken the, the option and it's, it's got to have been in his mind. I know it would have been in mine. I know it would have been in mine. So I'm sure that it was in his. You probably remember it every time now when ten comes up when it's five seven. years time. <laughs> well, Hull City the Dart City. Well, he's certainly got Hull City shirt on. It is the Dart City right now, of course. One hundred. This set also could swing on a knife edge because of that, you know. That, that, that miss in the six darts. 95. Stapleford. Do you know where that is? I think it's in Nottinghamshire. Is that there they invented the old golf scoring? May well be. <laughs> I don't know. 70. So step in, young guns. The scoring pace seems to have slowed slightly since set one. 59. It's the game sort of starting to even out now. We're into the game. We're starting to think what's going on in the game with the, the two players. Jungens just stood behind Jamie Hughes there, closing his eyes, just trying to motivate himself to come in and hit a 140. He's probably got that in his vision set. He needs to stay there for a 140 to leave 32. Jamie Maguire, 140. Well, what an important uh, stage now we're at in this, uh, because this uh, leg is a set winner. For one of them, and it could be Youngens, and should he now take out 72, Thomas all three legs 72. would have gone against the throw, and will be level at one set all. Yes, he's got every chance, double 12 he needs. Oh, that's a lovely mark. You've got to fancy this. Oh, just underneath. So now Hughes has a chance of winning the set. This is a big, big part in the match, not just this set. Now Jamie wasn't happy with the dart that he was under the treble 20 in the throw before and I think he's taken that to this throw. 
Well, 80, 80, to, he's made a mess of this, frankly. Uh, he's, he's a good player, Jamie, but occasionally he has moments like this. I mean, that, that first dart should have been in big eight, big top, big 20, and, and guarantee himself one. There's no way it should have been next door. And that's now the set to Youngens. It's one set apiece. And that's punishing Jamie's mistake. That's punished Jamie's mistake, in my opinion, and that's how Jamie reacts. And with these short formats and with these short sets, we've seen over the last couple of days how the games do flow and ebb, and one mistake can turn it on its backside, really. And, and uh, I'm wondering whether that, although Jamie's not out of it at 1-1, um, I'm wondering whether that will affect his game. Half the skill is uh, in shutting it out of your mind, isn't it? And getting on with the job. Uh, it happens to all dark players. You win legs you should not have won, and you lose legs you ought to have won. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, John. It, it, it happens, and, and there are times in this game where you think, I'm the only one missing a double here. <laughs> and you, you feel that you're the only dark player in the world that ever misses a double with two darts in your hand. Um, it's a crazy, crazy mind game. Yes, like the old book of common prayer, I have done things I ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. <laughs> 59. It's the same on the dartboard. As Bobby George says, it looks an easy game to play, but it's a very difficult game to master. 60. Yes, good statement, that. Some more success on that trouble 19 for Hughes. Right when he needed it. That's the Swiss contingent. Cheering their man. 95. 95. Puts him in a decent position here. 62 wanted and he'll definitely be having a crack at that in a moment. I find that a strange one from Youngens there, with 77 to go, 45-32. He's left himself 62 now, and he could have quite easily left himself an easy two data by going for the 57. Yes, that's right. Yes. So 27 from 62 leaves 35. So three double 16, surely, is what he's looking for. And uh, it's the same in Swiss as it is in English. If there is such a language as Swiss, they speak either German, French or Italian, don't they? Jamie require 51. Tops for Hughes. 11. Well, a long way, a long way from that with that third dart. So 16 for Youngens and Hughes now could begin to start thinking about the possibility of losing because it's the first time he's been behind in the match. And it was a chance for Hughes to hurt Youngens because he made a mistake there. He realised he made a mistake when he came in for the yes. 62, I believe. Uh, Realising that he only had two darts, uh, one dart instead of two. So... Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a sort of escape he got let off. It's not big mistakes, but this is the last eight of the more world Even masters. Small mistakes, small mistakes will cost you here. 47. Gone off the boil, Jamie Hughes. Does tend to do that. Uh, it was at the semi final stage last year where he showed that he. Can get onto the ball. He, he, he was 5 2 down against Martin back to win 6 5, I recall. Made the final. But then failed to turn up in the final. He was well beaten by 58. Martin Phillips. That's 
That's a great visit. Well played. Nice to watch. Hughes will be looking to hit that treble 20 again to try and stay close to Youngens. He needs to keep the pressure on, as we saw earlier. He will probably stay there. Go across to the 18s now. See, he's left the two data there. You see, John? That yes, was good. thinking about it. And I, I, well, he might after what happened last leg, although he did win it in the end. 58. Thomas, he requires 60. So, 20 for tops. Good. Bob's your uncle. Well, Thomas, you're there we are. by two sets to one then Jamie Hughes and uh, having won the first set feeling confident he hit 215 darters to win the first set had a, an average of 100.2 naught therefore uh, but that's gone down as uh, Jungens has bitten back even though he's made a couple of mistakes he's grabbed a bit of confidence here John and and like I said he won that first leg and that confidence has, has driven him on to where he is now, with which is a set in front and looking good in this first 92. leg against the darts. That's a different, Scott. 18 three figure scores to Jungens and only nine, I think it was, to Hughes. That's a big difference. And Hughes was averaging 100.2 naught at the end of the first set. 60. So he has. Alarmingly. One hundred. He needs to come back into the game and sort of grab this leg with the throw to try and stabilize himself, really. One hundred. Himself on 170 and finish. Well, that's a great down to land himself on 88. So it's favourite Hughes, but this would be an absolute spellbinding finish should he get it. Needs a treble. 30. Certainly didn't need that glance down into the five, so it's Hughes now. He's got a treble 18, double seven. 74. Yes, 18 would have left the ball, of course, which is why he went that way, and now Youngens could have done with a few more than 30 last visit. It would have made life a little touch easier for him. In fact, it might even give him a chance at a double, but he's got to hope that Hughes makes a mess of this 14. Youngens will be hoping he goes in the single seven and only has one dart there for a double. He's kind of blocked it for himself because he won corner. Thomas, you require 14. Now, this is a leg that Youngens perhaps will be thinking... I ought not to have won, but he could here with this in double top. No, double ten. Well, in the end, he does get it. And now Hughes is in really, really big trouble because Scott is going to be throwing first here for the match. As the number four seed, obviously... Jamie would have been the favourite for this game. Well, he's 10 down with, on that average, Hughes, 81, than the relative the scores in his previous two games. Uh, uh, that's alarming. And when you think, Scott, that he won the first set in 15 and 15 with an average of just over 100, his uh, throwing since then has been in the low, surely, 50s. 70s, the low 70s even. Uh, and you, you, it's hard to understand why a player can 
its, it's form can dip during a game so alarmingly. Jungens has stepped in. He's, uh, he's been steady rather than spectacular, but he's done enough, and he's taken advantage of the opportunities that Hughes has given him. Hughes is, is, is throwing like he's forcing the situation, which is what happens when you get to these points in games. And these are the points you have to try and back off and, 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 and relax a little, but it's very difficult to do when you know there's a possibility it's the last leg if you don't perform. Yes. Added concentration. Added effort is not necessarily manifested at its best in force, as you suggest. It's more about relaxing and let the dog oh. do the work. But it seems to me now that Jungens really does have a huge grip on this game. I think ah, but this is impressive. 125. Every player, every data around will know that feeling John and that feeling of that last leg oh double 18 here for the match and Hughes the number four seed is going to go out to the world masters yeah, he's most certainly going to go out to the world masters a brilliant one four four finish from Thomas Youngens and Youngens is in the semis Thomas Jungens, the 34-year-old from Zurich in Switzerland, unseeded, continues on his journey here in Hull. So magnificently did he take out that 1-4-4 to finish off Jamie Hughes. He won the first set, Hughes, but Jungens it was who won the next three. An excellent moment for him and his entourage of Swiss fans. And uh, there we are, uh, Scott, 87.55, uh, he's not going to win you the tournament, but the last thing on Thomas Jungen's mind right now is, I, I need to get my average up into the 90s, he's in the semis of one of the big biggest in the world. He will not be worried about that average, one iota, John. So, there we are, Thomas Jungens comes from a set down to uh, beat Jamie Hughes, and in a week where the seeds just have not been allowed to flourish as they'd like, another one bites the dust.